Would you like to standardize your components, documents, and projects? Altium Designer would allow you to standardize your documentation workflow through a template-driven design. You can set up templates for components, documents, and projects to ensure that every new symbol, schematic, or project which you or your team members create will have the same set of parameters as well as configurations. So in components, you can define a part or every single symbol that you create as a default primitive. You can also have document-based parameters as well as company logo in your schematic templates. And for projects, you can also define global-based parameters so that every single schematic document as well as PCB document would refer to what we call as a global base parameter that essentially only share one single value throughout the entire project. In most PCB design teams, libraries are created and updated by multiple individuals. Without proper standards in place, you may have discrepancies in the component parameters. For example, designer A may have the following parameters for a capacitor. The manufacturer, the manufacturer part number, the supplier, as well as value. On the other hand, designer B may have only capacitance and supplier as the user parameters for another capacitor. In library management, you don't want this. You will want to ensure that all components have the same set of parameters. In this case, you will want both capacitors to have manufacturer, manufacturer part number, supplier, and value or capacitance as a parameter. You would also want to standardize the value or supplier or capacitance as a parameter and not both to avoid redundancy or confusion when choosing a part. In order to avoid this, you can create a component template by going to DXP, Preferences, under Schematic, Default Primitives, you would do a double click on part whereby you can define your default designator such as C question mark and then you can add all the parameters by clicking on this add key. Once you have all the parameters such as manufacturer, manufacturer part number, supplier and value, you'll then click on OK and hit on the permanent to ensure that these default settings will not be changed by the tab key when you place a new part. So once I click on OK and create a new schematic library, you will see that the component that will come by default will have all the parameters as well as the default designator and comment. And not only that, if I try to create another component, you'll also see that this component will also come with the same default component properties. So now you can share, if you want to make it global for everyone in your team, you can save this preferences file and load it to all the other user machines to ensure that all symbols that are created by the different users in your company will have the same set of parameters. So schematic templates are templates that you reuse and that comes with the document parameters such as your addresses as well as your organization uh, name or your client names, or even your company logo. You can change the template that you want if you already have a schematic open. For example here, if I already have a schematic open, and you'll see that by default there will not be any template, you can change this template by going to Document Options under the Template tab where you can choose from all the default templates that Altium comes with by installation. What you can also do is you can also go to design general templates and change the templates, change it to the template that you want, for example, A4, whereby I can change it for just this documents or all open schematic documents. I can replace all matching document parameters as well. So I'll just click on OK, and you'll see that it will come with the default document parameters, right, that has been filled up by its default values, as well as the company logo. If you want to fill up any, if you want to change any of these document parameter values, simply just go into document parameters, whereby you can then change this address, for example, to 65 International Boulevard. 
I can change my address line 2 to Toronto, Ontario M9W6L9 for example and then my address number 3, line 3 to Canada. I can also change my company name or my organization to CAD Micro Solutions Inc. as well. So once I do that, you'll see that all of this will be replaced automatically. But what if you want to change it from the template standpoint? You maybe want to change its positioning or maybe you want to add some more document parameters. First of all, we got to know where these templates are stored. So we go into DXP preferences. Under data management, we have a setting called templates. So we will do a copy of this template location and then we will do a file open where we will try to look for that template. So as you can see here, we have the A4 schematic DOT which represents schematic document template. So we are going to do an open of that template here where now we have the ability to move any of these strings around. We can also do a double click on the logo to change it to the logo that we want. For example, I already have this cat micro logo on my desktop which I'm going to point to. I will also make sure that the x to y ratio is 1 to 1 so that the aspect ratio will be maintained as I resize. I'm just going to put it right in the middle. I can change the grid as well if I want to to something a little bit more precise. And if I want to change these default uh, values for my parameters, I can simply go into document parameters and change my default values for my address 1 to 3. M9W6L9, for example. Change my address line 3 to Canada. I don't need address 4. And I will change my organization to CAD Micro Solutions Incorporated. I will then click on OK and you'll see all of this will be updated. I can also create a new string as well by doing a PT and I'll place a new string which calls it as designer for example because I want to have a new string called designer. So that is a dummy string and then what you'll do is you'll place an intelligent string or a special string that points to an actual document parameter. So in order to create a, a special string, you would need to use the equal sign and then the parameter uh, that you want, which is equals designer. I'll click on OK and I'll place it over here. So what we just did was to create a string that points to a parameter. In order to create that parameter itself, we will once again have to go into document parameters. Click on add here and then add the, the document parameter name, which is designer. And let's just have a placeholder of asterisk so that we know that it has been initialized. So once we click on OK, you'll see that this special string, instead of uh, that parameter name, it will now point to the parameter value, which is asterisk for now. I will now do a file, save as. And I will save this onto my templates folder again. And instead of A4 to avoid redundancy, I will create a new one called A4 underscore cat micro. I'll then click on save. So I'll close this schematic document template. And in order to update this or to change this template to the one that I just created, I can simply go into design, general templates, choose A4 underscore cat micro. And I'll just do it for this document where I'll replace all matching parameters and click on OK. So now you'll see that the company logo will change, the parameters will change, and it will also add a, a parameter for designer as well. So what if I want to change my the values of my designer as well as my uh, title? I can simply go into document parameters where I will change my designer to Eugen Oing as well as my title to main schematics. You'll now see that my title will be changed to main schematics and so will my uh, designer name as well. So what we just did was to create what I call as document parameters which are local for each sheet. right? So if you want to make it so that every single time you create a new 
uh, template, a new schematic. Like as of right now, if I had to create a new schematic, it would always come with this blank template. What if you want it to always point to the template that you want? You have to go into DXP, Preferences, and under Schematic, General, you have the ability to point to the template that you want here. So point it to A4 underscore cat micro, click on Apply and OK, and you will see that if I were to create a new schematic now, it will come with the document uh, template that I have defined already. So now, let's try to create a global-based uh, parameter. Right? A global a document or a local-based parameter may be something like document number or the title of the document. But there are times when you want to make use of global-based parameters as well, such as your project number or your client, because every single document would have the same client. Every single document would also have the same project number. So let's try to do that. First of all, we will create a new project. I'm just going to create a blank project where I will add the two schematics. So as you can see here, I already have that template. And if I create two new projects, two new schematics, and if I were to go into document parameters and create a title for both of them, so I'm just going to call this as sheet one as main schematic, the title, sheet two as schematic two, for example. So you'll see that these are what we call as document parameters because they can have unique uh, parameter values. In order to create a project-based parameter in your template, you will first have to open up that template itself. And then what I can do is I can repeat the steps whereby I can place a string, call it project number, and then I will create a special string where I have the equal sign and project number. And then once I do that, oops, I accidentally open up the wrong one, so let's do a close. I will first do a file open and open and point to that A4 underscore cat micro. Click on open. And then I will place text string. I will first place the project number string. And then I will place the special string, which is pointing to equals project number. And this will be our project parameter. So I'm going to save this up. Right, do a right click and save this schematic document template and close it up. So once I do that and I try to do a design general templates and update it with my A4 CAD micro, I'll replace all matching parameters. I'll click on OK. I can do it for all schematic sheets as well by doing uh, all schematic documents in the current project, which I'll click on OK. It will set templates on both the documents. And now you'll see that both sheet one and sheet two will have project number along with uh, the project, the, the parameter that does not have a value yet. So in order to initialize that project number as a project parameter, you would have to do a right click on that project itself, go to project options, and under parameters, you can once again click on add, whereby we'll initialize that by having project number as the name and the value as PROJ1234. So once I click on OK and OK, you'll see that the project number will be updated here, and the same will be applied to sheet 2 as well. So if I want to modify the project number for every single sheet, all I got to do is just do a right click, go to project options, change this to say ABCD1234, and then click on OK, you'll see that this will change, and so will Sheet 1 as well. So as demonstrated in this video, you can make use of templates to improve your document and library standardization in your company. Thank you once again for watching this video.